Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today we're watching a movie that I had been delaying for months. It's called Schindler's List and I'm someone who watches a lot of documentaries. So I know, I don't know everything, but I know some things about the Holocaust. And I know this movie is going to be really brutal. It's the story of Oskar Schindler, who saved, I think, 1,100 Jews from being sent to concentration camps, if I'm not wrong. And I have a feeling that this movie is going to make me cry a lot. That's why I have been delaying watching it for a really, really long time, but I also really want to see it. So today I'm sitting down, I'm finally watching Schindler's List, and I don't really know the story. I just know that there was this guy who saved so many people from being sent to concentration camps. And it's his story. So without any delay, let's just get right into it. Are they showing that this family is gone? Crackle. They just came and told these people to leave their houses and move to a different place. Like their lives just don't matter. I mean, I know what happened and this is just the tip of it, but it makes me so angry. It's a kudas. Kudas. It's a Zucker, Helena. Who is this? Is this Oscar Schindler? Are we seeing Liam Neeson? Here, do you know who that man is? I don't know. I never really read much about Oscar Schindler. So it's really good watching this movie. I get to know his story more and what exactly he did. Because I never read up about Oscar Schindler because I was always like, I'm just gonna watch the movie. And then I never really had the courage to watch the movie. My good sir, and who shall I say it they are from? You can say they are from me. From the gentleman. Where? How are you doing? You'd leave a woman alone at the table in a place like this? For the lady? No, no. Im grüne Wald, im grüne Wald, es holt auf dem Tal, dem Tal, dem Tal, der ganze Tag. So he's making contact with important people? Or is he getting his pictures taken with important people? Tell me about your cellar, man. I have an excellent German that is Lincoln, 1937. French, a Bordeaux. That's what they have done since thousands of years. That's, that's what they do, they weather the storm. But this storm is different. This Who is that man? That's Oscar Schindler. That Oscar Schindler? Oh, that's what he said. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's doing. He's getting his pictures taken with important people. And networking. Oh my God. <laughs> A place to lodge complaints, like they're gonna listen to the complaints. They come into our house and tell us we don't live there anymore. It now belongs to a certain SS officer. Please. What if I just took this thing off? Don't. What are they gonna do about it? They will shoot you. Yeah. Are you Isaac Stern or not? I am. Where can we talk? It must be so terrifying for someone to come in and say your name like that because you don't know. Maybe they're here to kill you. I know nothing about the Namelware. Do you? I was 
was just the accountant. Once the war ends, forget it. But for now, it's great. You can make a fortune, don't you think? I think most people right now have other priorities. Finding the money to buy the company. <laughs> That's all. You don't have any money. Jews can no longer own businesses. That's why this one's in receivership. Ah, but they wouldn't own it. I'd own it. If you want, you could run the company for me. Oh, main color. It's a nice coat. She'll trade it for Russian colors. The trading. True police. In metal containers. containers. This is glass. It's not what I asked for. Only by the time it got there, because of the freezing cold, it broke. All 10,000 units. Mm. Metal containers. Oh. Hello. He's here? Did they all walk away because he's here? Like this? It's illegal to buy or sell anything on the street. Oh, okay. He has that Nazi sign on his... How many? Deadline for entering the ghetto. They're gonna take all that stuff away from you. At some point, they're gonna take this all away. They're not gonna let you keep anything. gets to live in this house that they built for themselves and they're gonna live in tiny little rooms how on earth could it possibly be worse that's how it could be worse you're not the only ones living in this tiny room. Maybe I could put in a good word for you than my superiors. Your superiors? Oh, come on. They're not as bad as everyone says. He's a very important man. Just give him two minutes of your time. Since when did time cost money? Just not good enough. It's not good enough. Not good enough. Look where you're living. Trade goods. That's the only currency that'll be worth anything in the ghetto. Things have changed, my friend. How do we know that you will do what you say? Because I said I would. Oh. The standard SS rate for Jewish skilled laborers is seven marks a day. Five for unskilled and women. Jewish worker's salary. You pay it directly to the SS, not to the worker. He gets nothing. You need to convince him you have a trade, something valuable to the war effort. Like what? I'm a musician. What if you don't? Your name goes on the list. What? I'm not going to hide like some animal. The place is too high. There is not enough space for everybody to hide. I've heard so many stories of people actually hiding in such awful circumstances, but they made it through. And some stories did not have a happy ending, but some did. This card is not good anymore. If you can stay in this line all day, you'll still get one of these. They are no good. Not essential. I think you misunderstand the meaning of the word. Now, Blount, I teach history and literature. It's when it's not essential. Not right. Very good. He's 53 years old. It's too new. You're crazy. You left it in your drawer. How many times have I told you? I'm a metal polisher. <sighs> Dip it in soapy emulsion. Now they're teaching them what to do. Pots and pans. If it's carbonized, clean it with a file. Typing, obviously. How is your typing? Uh, all right. Please.
Okay. Dude. <laughs> Come on, she's the good one. And <laughs> Come on. I don't know how. They're all so qualified. Only one of them was actually qualified. Kielbasa sausage, cheeses, beluga caviar. Yes. And of course, who could live without German cigarettes? Get uh, as many as you can find. You're going to need lots of cognac, the best, Hennessy. Dom Perignon champagne. Um, utilizing only the most modern equipment, DEF's staff of highly skilled and experienced. See attached list and available colors. Yeah, use the photos. They're all just so fascinated by the stuff in the basket and the photos. Smart, so smart. Just pretend, for Christ's sake. I'm saying I couldn't have done this without you. Dude, is she your wife? Be careful of the step, miss. Mrs. Schindler, Mary. Mrs. Schindler, yeah. I've got 350. 350. 350 workers on the factory floor with one purpose. They won't soon forget the name Schindler here. I can tell you that. He came here with nothing, left with a steamer trunk. Two steamer trunks full of money. So far it looks like he's just doing this for himself, not to save the people. It's comforting to see that nothing's changed. There was always something missing. Luck. War. Come on, dude, don't talk like war is a good thing. Yeah, you're profiting from it, but still. Should I stay? It's a beautiful city. No dual man or maitre d will ever presume I'm anyone other than Mrs. Schindler. Hi, darling. Oh. Marcel and Friedrich. Well, he's honest. There is a machinist outside. would like to thank you personally for giving him a job. The SS beat me up. They would have killed me. I'll continue to work hard for you. That's great. He saved my life. Yes, he did. God bless him. He did it for any selfish reasons, but he did save your life. Did you happen to notice that that man had one arm? Did he? Very useful. No, no. Yeah, they were not allowed to take public transports. They had to walk everywhere. No vehicles. Besen und Schaufel werden ausgeladen. Jeder nimmt sich eine und dann wird die Straße gereinigt. What did he say? You shouldn't think of them as yours, Oscar. You need to understand that some of the officers here don't give a damn about production. It's got nothing to do with reality, Oscar. Come with me. No. I am an essential worker. Essential worker? No. <laughs> Look at the snow. Look at the snow. To believe the Jewish skilled worker had a place in Reich economics was a treasonable idea. Fuck you. Quite skilled. Yeah, he cares. It's about Stern. Leave your luggage on the platform. Where is Stern? Do not bring your baggage with you. It will follow you later. Yeah, it's not gonna follow them anywhere. <laughs> He's on the list. He is. He's on the list to go to. They're taking him to the concentration camp. Yes, I asked you your name. Klaus Tauber. Tauber. The list is correct, sir. There's nothing I can do. Come on. I think I can guarantee you, you'll both be in southern Russia before the end of the month. Good day. Okay, now they're gonna help him, right? Stand! Yeah. Stand! No, no, the train is leaving. 
Stop the train! He's here! Stop the train! Stop the train! Makes no difference to us, you understand? This one, that one. It's the inconvenience to the list. What if I got here five minutes later? Then where would I be? Yeah, they're not taking the luggage anywhere. These are the things that were most valuable to these people in your just... <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god. Only to discover I was broke and sharing a room with 12 people I didn't know. <laughs> There's no one down from here. This is it. This is the bottom. No. The ghetto is liberty. Sadly, this is not the bottom. You can still go. It could still be way worse. Any questions, sir? Yeah, well, it's top down. I'm fucking freezing. It's the chef from the menu. One of you is a very lucky girl. There is a, an opening for a job. Which of you has um, a domestic experience? I don't want to give him my call. Yeah. The entire foundation has to be torn down and re -poured. I'm scared for her. Shoot her. Oh my god. No. No, 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 It will take more than that. I'm sure you're right. Take it down, report it, rebuild it, like she said. Oh my god. Today is history. Today will be remembered. Kazimierz the Great, so called, told the Jews they could come to Krakow and they flourished for six centuries by this evening. Those six centuries are a rumor. What the hell are you Today doing? Today is history. Liquidation, oh my god. Oh my god, I don't want to watch this. <sighs> I'm already crying, I can't. Oh my god, kid. Some things, nothing bigger I can't than this. go in the sewers. I told you I won't go in the sewers. Oh, I hear a baby crying. I can't watch. <sighs> Poison? Oh, oh.
just play dead. Okay, that's smart too. Oh no. Mrs. Dresner? Yes, please. Hide under the stairs. She came back for her mom. I will put you in the good line. Is that a kid? Fogging alone in the middle of all that. that little kid going. <sighs> what happened to that kid? Wow. Not here. They're just waiting to kill these people. having a hard time. <sighs> Asshole. Oh no, all the people who worked in his factory. <laughs> the worst is over. We are workers now. No, what the hell are you doing? God, this guy, what are you doing? So people can't even take a minute's break. You're just gonna shoot them. I hope you accidentally shoot yourself. Yes, S will manage certain industries itself inside Grushov. But it's private industry like yours that stands to benefit most by moving inside the way of Commandant Amon Gonsky. No, 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 no. Oscar Schindler. We started without you. Fine. I have to know, where did you get a suit like that? What is that? Is that silk? Of course. I'd say I'd get you one, but the man who made it is probably dead. I don't know. They're not gone. They're here. They're mine! What you want is your own sub-camp. He got his workers back. There's Stan. Leaving you to take care of my main okay. account. Okay. The Schindler account. Don't forget who you are working for now. <laughs> I've seen photos of like SS officers having fun partying 
while on the other side in the concentration camps thousands of people are suffering and those photos are really they're like stuck in my head record payoffs to the main administration and economics office the armaments slowly, board stand, slowly. SS contacts list lower draw of my desk. Would you handle as cash contributions to legitimate charities? Oh, forget more it. complicated. What do you mean? Forget it. You it can't. Gives forget me a headache. It. You it can't. Gives forget me a headache. It. Put these in your pocket. Come on. Thanks for the good luck. Make me a hinge. Yes, sir. That's very good. But I'm a bit confused. And such a small pile of hinges. No. Maybe it's the pin. Maybe the pin shaft is What did I just say? Yeah. My heap of hinges was so unsatisfactory because the my foot was put on to shoveling coal. <laughs> now, Lishek, don't touch the ladder. It's just been oiled. Both in pure. Oh, for me? Oh, thank you very much. I don't... The He's... man can turn out the hinge in less than a minute. Why the long story? around with a chicken and nobody notices. It's a little kid standing there. <laughs> Not the kid. Oh. That, if, even if it was a lie, that saved everybody else. Thank you again, Herr Director. You're welcome again. Such a great company. He wants you. Come on, dude. Seriously, Please. come on. So, what can I do for you? They say your factory is a haven. Who says that? People. Everyone. My parents are in Brasov. Their names are Hanna and Jakob Perlman. Please bring them here. I don't do that. You've been misled. Such he activities are illegal. You will not entrap me, Miss Trasa. Cry, and I will have you arrested. Bring everybody over. Is that what you think? Send them over to Schindler. Send them all. I know. Are you losing money? No, I'm not losing money. That's not the point. Stop the point. It's dangerous. Stop the point. 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 Stop the Husband and wife. Jakob and Hannah Berlman. <sighs> At Goldberg, bring them over. <sighs> My first day here, he beat me because I threw out the bones from dinner for his dogs. You understand? He said the reason I beat you now is because you ask why I beat you. He drew his gun and he shot a woman who was passing by. Just, just a woman on her way somewhere, you know? And I couldn't guess what had she done. It's just that he's an awful man. He won't shoot you because he enjoys you too much. He shot the woman from the steps because she meant nothing to him. 
You're never drunk. Yeah, that's... That's real control. We have a fucking power to kill, that's why they fear us. It's not power, though. That's justice. Power is when we have every justification to kill. And we don't. That is power. Do you think he's gonna listen to that? He enjoys killing way too much. Come on. We're good. I pardon you. I'm sorry, sir. Do you know how much the saddle's worth? He's gonna pardon him? All right. That worked. How long is that going to work? Oh my god. She was smoking on the jump. Tell her not to do it again. Well, I are you saying, Lishak? Soup, Commandant. Go ahead, go and leave. Leave, I pardon you. <sighs> Thank you. Although I still hate you, but. He's not going to shoot him, is he? He he's going to shoot him. But aren't men and women supposed to stay in separate houses, um, places? If you need a reference after the war, I'd be, be happy to give you one. You can answer. What does he want to hear? This movie has me sighing a lot, just going like, <sighs> they're always holding my breath, and then all of a sudden I'm like, <sighs> I would like so much to reach out. And Touch you in your loneliness. And I, I realize that you're not a, a person in the, the strictest sense of the word, but. No, no, you, you, you make a good point. <laughs> make a very good point. No, I don't think so. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Of the workers, so I, I wish for you a happy birthday. Thank you very much. Tell them, thank you from me. They shaved their hair. They told them it was needed to make something special for you boat crew, and then they gassed them. Mila, why soaps? I cannot believe it. I didn't say I believed it, I said I heard it. It doesn't make any sense. We're their workforce. What sense does it make to kill your own workforce? It can't be true. We are very, very important for them. Everyone who is alive, come to the We've got to separate the sick from the healthy. Have to make room. No, oh my God, this is so horrible. I can't. They're not even people to them. They're just objects. They're just machines, and they're just checking which one works and which one doesn't, and that's. Where are you taking all the kids? Where are 
are you taking all the kids? Those not selected for transport, put your clothes back on. Oh my God! Hiding, I'm telling you, they're hiding. <sighs> oh, poor baby. Oh, my God. Oh, there's kids hiding there, too. Let him stay now that he's in there. Oscar! Come on, gentlemen. <sighs> yeah, they would fill the trains so much that they wouldn't even have the place to squat down. They all had to stay standing for the entire journey, and it would take like days to get to another concentration camp. I bring the fire hoses. Where's the fire? <laughs> oh, I would think that they're torturing them, but actually he's giving them water. Every time the train stops, you open the doors, you give them water, yeah? Yeah, vol. Yeah. Now who are these guys? What the hell? I kissed a Jewish girl. <sighs> oh. <laughs> I felt like that was gonna come back because they were showing it and then nothing happened there. I felt like it was gonna come back. He sees a beautiful woman he doesn't think. She was Jewish, he shouldn't have done it, but you didn't see this girl. It's a matter of money? Hmm? You're offering me a bribe? We give your Jewish girls at five marks a day, Oscar. You should kiss us, not them. I was thinking I thought that was snow, but... Ugh. Oh, oh my god, they're laughing. The party's over, Oscar. They're closing us down, sending everybody to Auschwitz. What? I don't know. Oh my god, that was the little girl in the red coat. I've been talking to Gert. I know the destination. These are the evacuation. Of course, you'll have to hire new workers. Poles, I guess, they cost a little more, but... You ran my business. Some day, this is all going to end, you know. I think I better have it now. I only had a drink with him. He really made a lot of money. Look, you've got to move them. The equipment, everything for Czechoslovakia. Pay for all that and build another camp. What's a person worth? No, 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 no. What's one worth to you? Miller, Pfefferberg, and uh, the investors. I want all of them. Yes, sir. The children. All the children. 400, 450. More. He's saving them. Six hundred. 
we make a combined approach, we could get more than 4,000 on mine and yours. Oscar. We could relocate them in something like safety in Moravia. For everyone. <coughs> you smoke, I smoke half. How many? 850, give or take. Give or take what, Stern? Give or take what? Count them. How many? That's it. You can finish that page. If you are still working for me, I'd expect you to talk me out of it. The list is an absolute good. The list is life. There's one more name I want to put there. No. No, I want her to um, come back to Vienna with me. I want her to come, to come and work for me there. You can't take her to Vienna with you. No. Of course I can't. Next most merciful thing. I should take her into the woods and shoot her penis in the back of the head. Nancy and Leo. And our son. Alex. Maria Michelle. Itzhak Stern. Rebecca and Joseph Bell. Paul Dick and Mila Pfefferberg. Horowitz. Dolek. He saved all those lives. <sighs> Zuckerman Yoki. Helena Hirsch. Oh, Helen too. Wonderful, Oleg. Czechoslovakia. You'll be pleased with the level of efficiency I get from these workers. The prisoners, however, Excuse me. they would have rather been somewhere else. But it's only a short walk further to the factory, where hot soup. And bread is waiting for you. Oh my god, that little kid made that sign. Where are they? Are they in Auschwitz? <gasps> How did that happen? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Mama, where are we? There's no way he can save them now, can he? Oh my god, it's 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 um the story that she was telling them. It's exactly like that. <laughs> too much, too much, too much. Too much. Oh, too much. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. He's spending so much money trying to save as many as he can. I do not say I'm accepting them. All I say is I'm not comfortable with them on the table. Ernestina, Belle de Green Hinda, Belle de Green Leonora. Why are you taking the kids? Their fingers polish the insides of shell metal casings. How else am I to polish the inside of a 45 millimeter shell case? Back on the train! Back on the train! He can get into really serious trouble for all of this. Under Department W provisions, it is unlawful to kill a worker without just cause. If you shoot without thinking, you go to prison, I get paid. Guards will no longer be allowed on the factory floor without my authorization. It's his wife. This is Itzhak Stern, my accountant. 
Jack. You must like be it. Mr. Schindler. It's a pleasure to meet you. Stan, if this factory ever produces a shell that can actually be fired, I'd be very unhappy. How are you doing, Rabbi? Rabbi! What's the matter with you? You should be preparing for the Sabbath. Shouldn't you? Millions. Why? Am I broke? Yes. Uh. You've been spending money without any profit. General Jodel signed the act of unconditional surrender, the German war is therefore at an end. At midnight tonight, the war is over. Thank yourselves. Thank your fearless stern. At midnight, you'll be free, and I'll be hunted. I know you have received orders from our commandant which he has received from his superiors to dispose of the population of this camp. You could leave and return to your families as men instead of murderers. Good. Good, good, good. In memory of the countless victims among your people, I ask us to observe three minutes of silence. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. They're making a ring. For Oscar. I want that cloth distributed to the workers. Two and a half meters each. We have written a letter trying to explain things in case you were captured. Thank you. It's Hebrew from the Talmud. Whoever saves one life saves the world entire. I could have got more. I don't know if I just. If I just. I will be generations because of what you did. Why did I keep the car? Ten people right there. Could have gone one more person, and I didn't. <laughs> you have been liberated. I just came from Poland. Are there any Jews left? Where should we go? Don't go east, that's for sure. Isn't that a town over there? After so many years, they're walking as free people. No one telling them. To do no fear of someone just coming in and shooting them or taking them away, ripping their family apart. Yeah, I don't really mind you dying. You did help Oscar a lot. Thanks for that, but I really don't mind you dying. Feel that his marriage and several businesses. was that kid, right? Yeah. <sighs> well, you don't know what would have happened to all of them if he wouldn't have saved them.
This is making me cry more than the movie. <sighs> 6,000. That was sad, Liam Neeson. <sighs> you know, I never read Oscar, Oscar Schindler's story because, like I said, I always thought that maybe I would just watch the movie and then read up more about it. But I did read the story. I saw a documentary uh, about another German army officer. He was, I think, the commander of a concentration camp. And he, in his concentration camp, he kept, because normally the men and the women were supposed to stay in separate buildings but he kept the families together, the kids, the parents, all of them. And he gave the reason for that, that it was better protection, that people were working better. And he provided them with resources and helped them sort of um, make space, make uh, hiding places for themselves in the camp for when the day comes and they're all executed so that they can hide somewhere and be safe. And there was one incident, I'm sorry I'm telling you the whole story, but I think this is a story worth listening to, although I'm not the best storyteller. But there was one incident, I think it's called the Kinter Action, where he was away on holiday at home. He went home for a few days because he thought the conditions at the camp were okay. and behind his back the SS officers came and they took away all the children and they killed all the kids and the people telling the story were the kids who managed to hide and thus survived so when he came back he beat himself up like you know like Oscar Schindler was doing in the end of the movie like I could have saved more people he thought if he hadn't gone home, he could have saved those kids. And the army sort of took him away before they were going to execute everybody, but he gave them, but he told everybody when it's going to happen, when the, when the execution is going to happen, like in code, that the workers understood, but the SS officers had no idea what he was talking about. And so many of them managed to hide and from the execution and they survived. And the documentary that I saw, the people, they were telling their story about how he saved them. And, you know, this kind of reminded me of him. He was also a hero. I don't think there is a movie on Karl Plage. That's what it reminded me of. Oh my God. The the thing about this movie, the way, the reason why I did not, I kept delaying it, why I did not want to watch it, was because when you hear about these stories in the documentaries, you only have your imagination. Yes, you're listening from actual survivors, and that has a different impact altogether. And you're imagining the situation that they're explaining, and it's still hard to watch and listen to, but in the movie, you don't have to imagine anything. They're showing it to you, whether you want to see it or not. They're showing you the executions. They're showing you people being dragged out of their homes and being thrown into the ghetto and then taken against their will to concentration camps and all that. They're showing you that. They're showing you kids getting murdered, and you just can't look away. In the documentary, you can just not imagine it and y yeah it's still hard but I don't know how to explain it watching the movie is harder for me for some reason and that's why I was like yeah, I'm gonna watch it later and I kept delaying it but I'm so glad that I did because now I can finally nerd out and read more about Oscar Schindler in my 300 movie reaction, I said 
it would be better if there was no war, but I guess humans are crap. When I said humans are crap, this is what I was talking about. This was not necessary. This was not about survival. This is just evil, pure evil. Hitler hated this particular group of people and he decided that he wants to kill them all. What he did to the Jews, to every minor community that he did not like, that was pure evil, nothing else. That was just evil. Look at all the tissues, look at all the tissues. And, they, and half of them are on the floor. I don't even remember the last time I cried that much. Maybe when I watched The Green Mile. <sighs> this was hard to watch, but it was definitely worth it. I can't believe there are actually people out there who say the Holocaust never happened, that six million Jews did not die. That they find it so hard to believe. That there are survivors. You can hear their stories. There are still survivors out there in the world who can tell you their story. How do you not believe that? This is a part of our history that should not be forgotten, so something like this never happens again. Although. Things like these are happening still. There are concentration camps, there are countries with dictatorship, absolute chaos all over the world. Reason why I don't watch the news, because it just, it just, it's just depressing. All the bad things that are happening, it's just, it's just, <sighs> I really can't get into that right now. Hell, I'm just gonna end the video right here. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please go ahead, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon.